I investigated this former Oregon City Council member who is being followed. So you can figure whether you believe him or not about this story about a giant supposedly seen in Oregon. There, right up there. That thing was open. It opened completely up and then it closed back up. And there's a little slot in it right up there. You can see that little slot where it looked like somebody was staring out of. Dude, giants are freaking real. I don't care what anybody says. The man name is James Gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I mean, no offense to James. It's just I thought of a turkey when I heard gobble. So the boy was out there in Quartzville, Oregon. Green Peter Reservoir. Check this out. We look close at this door and basically it's a rock on a mountain, but it actually does have this structure that looks like a doorway. Let's look closer. Look right here. Look at the crevices right there. That looks like it was closed up years ago and it potentially could still be open. Here's another feature you need to take notice of right here. Look at that right there. You see the middle section that actually looks like a door where a potential peep hole could be now we have to look really close at this so on screen right now you can see something dropping through the left hand side of it like you can actually look through it but could a giant's eye actually look through that what are you feeling about this like let me know in the comment section but he tells you the actual size and how big this thing is it's bigger than it looks but i think it is but it's 60 to 80 feet tall 60 80 feet across at a wedge so after that first video, Gobble and his wife then posted another video about before they're about to go up there and venture on a bigger journey. And he keeps mentioning that somebody's following him, which once he shows the video, I'm going to break down what's going on. People that are going to go with us, most of them have dropped out on us. Um, we did pass two white government trucks about three miles back. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder. But anyways, as of right now, uh, the doorway is up there. And uh, what we're going to try to do is just get around there, get up there. I have my wife with me, so she'll be doing a lot of recording. And we'll just go from there. Now, the interesting part is the area he's at is an abandoned mining area from the 1800s. Why is that important? Because that Stargate doors, like this doorway in Peru that you're seeing here, gold had the significance to open in these doors. In legend, on record, an Incan priest had the possession of a golden disc. He put it into the door. He carved it into the rock and then the door opened and a gold disc dropped from the sky. So are you thinking like in the comment section that this is like a closed off gateway? Or is it just a normal rock, boy? It's just a normal rock. Calm down. Back to Gobble. Gobble looks at the formation of this rock and then he starts to see that it looks like something has been happening here. The spot in the mountain right here as it goes up. Right through here as that path goes to there. Turns. Where are we going? Goes up right here. Let me get my finger in there. Up and over. Let me hustle around to the other side real quick. And it continues up into the hill right here. Where there's a path up there in the back side that you can get to the top of this right here. Um... So what I was being asked a bunch like that is that's really worn different from the rest of the, of the hillside. And I was saying, well, you know, it's probably just from water coming down. And somebody made a point. It looks like drag marks, like something's dragging something up there, like continuously dragging something, like pulling something up the hillside. You guys can make your own theory on that one. We'll get to whether James was blowing things up because he got a lot of views from the first video, but this video right here shows that he looks more concerned and he actually shows the details of what's happening to him. Um, anyway, we just been staying kind of low key. Um, when I wake up in the morning and I'm going, this is what I run into. It's down the road. And then sometimes it's up the other side of the road. And sometimes it just follows me around town. And there's a white truck that does the same thing. white trucks no license plate so i investigated deeper into this part and we found some evidence of who could potentially be riding around in one can you guess who would be driving around in white suvs well 
it's been known that CIA use unmarked sedans and SUVs for common surveillance to avoid their detection. Two, who used the white truck with no license plate? Well, it's a common thing that the FBI uses these, the SUVs, the Ford Explorer, which specifically was a Ford vehicle he showed. So my question to you, there has to be one or two things. One, something there really needs to be protected and it might be some doorway to somewhere else. Two, is it that there is actually some giant beings living in this thing that's been shut off and they don't want them to get out because the ex-military lieutenant said that they were trying to block them off in certain areas with huge stones, which doesn't work over time. However, you can see video of people riding in. So here's video of people riding into Quartzville, Oregon, where this thing is at. And you can see checkpoint markers. The army said, hey, we don't want people here really because the reservoir is low. Yeah, right. So after this, here's the next part that Gobble and his wife goes up and they're getting ready for the next venture. And they go out once again to either blow up the story to get more views or two, they go out there because something actually happened that was strange during this time of them going out there. He did start deleting some videos and stuff like that. The question is, was he being told to delete videos even though he left up a lot of other videos? But let's get into the story here. We'll look deeper in. Okay, well, we're here. There's no way I'm getting down there without a rope or anything. This is just uh, steep, beyond steep. I'm right here. We got to go down there, cross through there, and it is narrow and it's slick. This was slick. I just don't know what that was. Is that the same thing? Sorry, but I swear to God, there was something standing right there. Go! Let's get going. I don't know what, what, but just get going. So, this was the part where I said, did they blow it up for views? Because you got the camera down and you're not looking up. I mean, sure, when you're scared, you might put the camera down and you might run. That's happened before. But I'm just saying that wouldn't you want to catch that if you're really trying to do this for the real legitimate exposure? Now, did he see something? I'm asking you that question. But here's his next statement on how he felt in the whole situation after that. Anybody that knows us knows my wife is very black and white. And if you listen carefully, you can hear what she says and you can you can see her crying. So on our way back down, something happened and we ended up running. Anybody that knows me knows that my old butt don't run. Anyways, will I go back? No. Um, will I take somebody else up there? No. Nope. Um, I can tell everybody where it's at. If you DM me, I don't. That's about it. There's either one or two things happen. He blew it up for views or two. He, an NDA was signed. Remember after the giant in Afghanistan was killed, the red haired giant? the military had to sign NDAs because this is critical protection that the government can't allow to get out to the public. So that could have been the scenario that he was told, hey, you need to take some of these videos down. You need to stop talking about this. You can leave some of them up, but don't get too deep into it. Because again, the trend of deleting videos has happened a lot when people talk about giants and the harassment has happened a lot. See, more of these videos are coming out. Maybe that this is the time that we're going to see some strange things. Or maybe they got some deceptions planned for us. But this was in Salt Lake, Utah. Look at this giant thing. Oh, no, thing. that thing's kind of creepy. It's like a person's silhouette up in the clouds. I'm sorry. If it was your mountain, I'm sorry I broke it. One thing's for sure. We're going to start seeing some strange stuff. Project Blue Beam also, they've been putting the giants into that plan. The person who posted this video, they deleted it as well. Are people being super harassed? Or are we seeing a trend that is covering up something that's really to come, which I believe. And that's why the next video tells you more about the Blue Beam deception of this. So what do you feel about this guy and this story here? Let me know in the comment section below. I believe giants are coming, but I also believe that this video here, I'm not begging you to watch it, but it's dang sure the reason why a lot of people will be deceived by some projects that's happening.